What's up guys, it's Krutaka, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm at the airport. It's really early in the morning. We had to wake up at 3 a.m. to get to the airport. Got myself a coffee fix and I'm about to board my flight to go to Ladakh. So I'm going to Ladakh with a bunch of bloggers, YouTubers and press people to cover this event called Naropa Buddhist Festival. And uh, it's super early in the morning so I don't really want to talk too much. So I'm just going to see you guys when I get to Ladakh. I've made it to Leh and we just checked into a hotel. It's quite cold here. I just met up with all the bloggers and YouTubers that are part of this trip and we had breakfast together and it was really nice. So when you're traveling to Ladakh, the first day you're supposed to just rest and acclimatize because Ladakh is at a really high altitude. So there's nothing much on today's agenda. We're just gonna rest and take it easy. So stands in our apple tode wale is tree se. Meeta wala konsa hai? ऐसे ही खा सकते हैं बहुत ही मीठा रोली स्वीट सो दिस इज माय रूम इट्स क्वाइट क्यूट एंड कॉम्पैक्ट दैट्स द बेड एंड आई एम गोना बी शेयरिंग दिस रूम विद वन ऑफ द ब्लॉगर एंड दिस इज द व्यू फ्रॉम आवर रूम So I ended up taking a nap, uh, had lunch and we're just chilling in the garden now. Uh, we're plucking and eating some apples. There's no network here, super chill. Look at how cute these apples are. And the people. And the people. <laughs> also, this is Tushar. He's a videographer. Sejal, I think everyone knows her. And Tanya who's busy on the phone. <laughs> So it's day two in Ladakh and today we're going to be visiting the Naropa festival. So a little bit of background, Naropa is actually one of the biggest Buddhist festivals in the world and that's the reason we're in Ladakh uh, to see the festival. Uh, so there's going to be lots of cultural events, dances and in the evening there's a Bollywood singer performing as well. Uh, so that's where I'm going to be spending all day today and I'll take you guys along with me. Monastery, which is where the festival is taking place. Also, I forgot to mention before, but uh, this is my second time visiting Ladakh. I've been here before, and last time I was here, I missed seeing Hemis Monastery. So I'm really glad I'm getting to see it this time. Monastery is absolutely beautiful. So the procession has started and they're carrying the six holy relics which will be displayed over here. and there's like a mela type of thing over here so we're just walking around trying to find something to eat
so windy. So we're done at Naropa and we're just heading back to our hotel, stopping on the way to see a couple of spots. Uh, the first spot is this monastery called Stakna Monastery and I've actually been here before so it's really nice to be back. <laughs> end up stopping anywhere else we're back in our hotel and uh, today's been such a nice day actually I had so much fun and right now I think we're just gonna chill in our hotel hang out probably have a bonfire and just dance so Maggie scenes and Sejal is singing <laughs> so it's day two of Naropa and we're heading uh, to the venue we've got a whole bus for just the six of us <laughs> so last night was super fun we ended up having a little bit of a party and everyone's how are you, how are you guys feeling giggling <laughs> <laughs> energetic energetic made it to the venue this is where we were yesterday and just outside it is this massive painting that is on display Julie mm -hmm. so we just made it to Hemis monastery and it's actually snowing here now at Hemis Monastery. This is said to be the largest monastery in Ladakh and it looks absolutely beautiful. Also the snowing has intensified so it's quite cold. So we started from all the way down there and we're right on top of Hemis Monastery and the view from here is amazing. Anvi and I are walking up to the washroom and because the oxygen here is so low we just like start panting everywhere we walk <laughs> yeah and it's it gives you such an oldie feeling yeah like literally it feels like a hike to go to pee so we walked up half the distance and the washroom is still all the way up there so we're just not gonna pee time for some refreshments starting with momos So Tanya is getting dressed in a Ladakhi costume. Ladakhi dress. Isko kya naam bolte hain dress ka? Ladakhi guncha. Guncha. So I think we're done over here. We're just gonna have some lunch and then do local sightseeing in Leh. We are now at Rancho School and this was the school that was in the movie Three Idiots. Uh, the school actually has a different name but because of the movie it's popularly known as Rancho School. So this is actually the real name of the school but it's popularly known as Rancho School. now at Shea Palace and we're super tired. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm exhausted. Yes. Breathless. So the Shea Palace is beautiful but look at the view from here. I've been to Shea Palace before and I don't remember seeing so much greenery so it's just a little absurd because uh, Ladakh is supposed to be a desert and a really dry state so I'm just surprised to see so much greenery here. The 
the next stop is at Tikse Monastery and this is what it looks like. So we have to go all the way up there. We've made it to Lay Market and it's super lively. Uh, so our plan is to just walk around, maybe do some shopping, eat some food and then head back to our hotel. So we're at this cafe for dinner and we're all having some pizza. How is it? Okay. Hi Saif. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> We're on our way to Pangong Lake. We left super early in the morning at 6 a.m. Yes. Everyone is asleep except for the three of us. Yes. And the uh, party people. Party people. And the aux cable in this uh, van is not working. So basically, we're just carpool karaoke. So, this is our first pit stop on our way to Pangong, and uh, we've stopped at Changla Pass. The last time I was here, I remember there being so much snow. Uh, but all the snow we can see here right now is that. But it is really, really cold. Uh, so this is the Changla Pass. And from Leh to Pangong takes about 5 hours. So we're going to be on the road for 10 hours. It's going to be a really long day. But I'm super excited because I remember Pangong being really beautiful. Changla Pass is actually the world's second highest pass. And we're at about 17,688 feet. And I'm literally panting to even talk right now. stopped on the way and there are so many marmots here. Gentlemen. So cute. So we've made it to Pangong and oh my god look at this water. It's so incredibly blue. So in case you didn't know, uh, the movie Three Idiots was actually shot here and uh, the last time I was here it was snowing and it was really cold and the colours of the water weren't so beautiful uh, but right now you can see so many shades of blue in the water and it's absolutely gorgeous. So it's time for us to leave Pangong. This place is just so beautiful. We've just spent like three hours enjoying the scenery and taking photos and stuff. The last time I was here, I actually spent the night here and I think that's a better way to see Pangong because you can spend more time seeing the place and also I think the lake looks different during different times of the day. But unfortunately we only had a day today so we're gonna make do with a day trip but I'm so glad we came here because this place is super nice. Back in our hotel from Pangong, today has been such a tiring day but also super fun. So I'm gonna end the first Ladakh vlog over here but there's gonna be another vlog so be sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell button so you don't miss that vlog and all my other videos. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!